Okay, so what I'm recording today cannot be seen today. It's a voice match for something that's very top secret and all of that. But by the time this comes out, it won't be. So you'll be watching it now so I can talk about it with you now. But I can't talk about it with you today. Great Scott, there's a disturbance in the space-time continuum. Okay, Doctor Strange, the movie is coming out. They're looking for a voice match for Benedict Cumberbatch. So I wanted to show you guys how I do voice matching for things, how I try to match the voice and thing. This is a voice that I'll be honest, I don't think I can get close enough to be the match for. That's also why I thought it might be an interesting one because sometimes you're not right for the voice. Sometimes, no matter how good you are at manipulating and finding, like I'll probably match his acting beats really well because I, I'm, I, this is not bragging, I know that I'm good at that. So we need to know what we're good at and be able to be confident in it. So I'm confident that I can match his acting beats. I'm not confident 100% that I can match his voice completely. And that is what a true voice match needs to do. Sometimes, if you're close enough and you do match the acting beats enough, you can kind of get away with it. This one's probably not gonna be the case, but I at least wanted to take you behind the scenes and show you how I do it. So I'm in my booth, I have my little Pro Tools thing here that is gonna control the, the device. But what I've done is I've taken the sound bites that they've sent me of him, and I've broken them up into little pieces and I'll hear what is said and then I will repeat it and then I'll hear the next line and then I'll repeat it then I'll go back and I'll listen to it and I'll see okay what am I doing in the studio through the speakers and hear how different is he to me and what am I doing wrong and what do I need to change how do I need to change up my voice and then I'll come back in and do it again and see how close I get. And then I'll go through all the various takes and see which ones really match up the most. And then I'll cut them all together and I'll give that to them as my audition. This thing is due right away. I need to do it right away. But at least I wanted to tell you what's going on. So let's do it. Will you think you see through me, do you, or you don't? Will you think you see through me, do you, or you don't? But I see through you. But I see through you. The zealots, they're coming back. The zealots, they're coming back. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? He finally needs me another dreg of humanity for you to work on. He finally needs me another dreg of humanity for you to work on. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Hearts just humming. Hearts just humming. You care so much, don't you? You care so much, don't you? Now, I'll do it again. It's on a loop, it's gonna re-record, and I- You think you see through me, do you, or you don't? You think you see through me, do you, well you don't? You care so much, don't you? You care so much, don't you? So I get the higher, but he's got a really wonderful deep resonance that's hard for me to get. You think you see through me, do you, or you don't? You think you see through me, do you, or you don't? But I see through you. But I see through you. The zealots, they're coming back. The zealots, they're coming back. You care so much, don't you? You care so much, don't you? So I'm going to stop and take a listen now. I'll be honest, I just don't think I'm matching him well enough, but let's take a listen. This is his. I've cut into individual pieces, and these are my attempts at him, and we're going to listen back and see. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage that this extensive to do this and actually recover? Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? That line needs a little work, I think. He finally needs me another dreg of humanity for you to work on. He finally needs me another dreg of humanity for you to work on. He's got almost a little Jeff Goldblum in his voice. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Patch him up and send him back into the world. So it's all, it's actually closer than I thought, but it, it does need some work on a couple lines, especially. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna create a loop here just by highlighting this. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna 
put this back in record. And so this will just loop this one line. This one is the one line that I feel is a little bit of a trouble line for me that I need to get right. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do both of these. Let's see how we do. Okay, so uh, here we go. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Mm. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? It's very... Uh, All right, answer me this tired. bachelor's degree. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? Close, it's close. It's probably not close enough, but again, I'm just throwing it out there. Let's go edit it. So what I need to do now is take my slate, which is the slate is my name. James Arnold Taylor. And now what I need to do is cut them all together. So. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you. The zealots, they're coming back. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Okay, so I want to get that breath in there. Have, have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? He finally needs me, another dreg of humanity for you to work on. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Hearts just humming. You care so much, don't you? So there you go. So that's the whole thing. I'm not certain it sounds enough like him. This is him. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. And here's me. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. It's close. And even as I'm talking now, I'm falling into his, his thing. So save this one as a take, as a full take. And then I'm gonna do one more pass of the whole thing because I feel like I'm more in the pocket of his voice right now. It's a lot of this. And here's the other thing. They need this, like I say, right away. They need it back. And that's the thing about voice magic. You have to just be able to just do it right, right away. And a lot of times a voice will come to you after the fact, it might take a day. It might take some listening and you go, oh, yeah. But he's, he's, first off, he's covering up his accent. He has an accent in this film, an American accent, but of course we know Benedict Cumberbatch is not American. So, so he's putting on a thing that he's doing a little something to cover because also when you have an accent, it comes into different places in your voice. So you, uh, you change things and you push them up. And so, so he's putting things up more in his sinus, and if you listen to the voice, it's more, it's, it's got a little of that. Let's see what we can do. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you. But I see through you. The zealots, they're coming back. The zealots, they're coming back. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might, well, today is that day. You told me to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. I've got to do that one again. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? He finally needs me, another dreg of humanity for you to work on. He finally needs me, another dreg of humanity for you to work on. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Patch him up and send him back into the world. Hearts just humming. Hearts just humming. You care so much, don't you? You care so much, don't you? Do it one more time. Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. You think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. Okay, so I think that one was closer. So, so there's, I like the first line of the take before this. So what I'm gonna do, copy this, paste it there, take this. What it does when you record in a loop is it does exactly that, it keeps all well, of Well, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. Let's see. I'm not certain that's as close as I thought it was. You really have to have your ears tuned. 
Well, you think you see through me, do you, or you don't? Well, you think you see through me, do you, or you don't? Or... Well, you think you see through me, do you, or you don't? Well, that one is better, I think. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move it over here. But I see through you! The zealots, they're coming back. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. All right, answer me this, bachelor's degree. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this extensive to do this and actually recover? He finally needs me another dreg of humanity for you to work on. Pa patch him up and send him back into the world. Heart's just humming. You care so much, don't you? I like all of that better. So I'm gonna take that slate. James Arnold Taylor. Now, I make a master of that. I name it, and now I'm going to bounce into a, a master of it, and I'm gonna send it off. And then I email it. We'll see, and again, I'm sure somebody else may uh, get closer on this one. I'm pretty close, but there's some parts of it that, you know, just aren't, aren't there. But anyways, I thought it'd be interesting to take you in and show you the behind the scenes of what it takes to do a voice double and how quick it is too. So all of this has been about uh, about 15 minutes total. So you got to learn quick. You got to hear quick. And this is a good example of it because Benedict's voice is one I've never tried to match before. So that's why I thought this was a good example to show you that because people are always fascinated. What does it take to voice match? Well, now you know. Hey, please subscribe, like this, uh, and uh, check out the other things on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you later. Okay, here's another one. Same day as the Benedict Cumberbatch match. This is for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing, and they need a voice match. The crazy thing is, is they need several lines of dialogue, but for reference of the voice they want you to match, they've given one sentence. Everything is fine. And they've given it four different ways. The guy said it four times, so there's four different takes of that voice saying that one line, everything is fine. 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 <laughs> Based on that, him saying that one thing several different ways, I have to see if I can match his voice for these other lines that they've sent because they need a voice match for it. So this is like the trickiest of tricky for voice matches. How do you do? Everything is fine. And base a character off of that. So he's got, he's got a British accent. It's, it's somewhere in here. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. So, how would that character say other lines? That's the only line of dialogue they've given. So now I've got to go into the studio and see if I can match him based off of that. We'll see. Let's go. The character is Dr. Mindstrong. So here's the specs they give. 40s to 50s, science officer on Leonardo's favorite show, Space Heroes. He's intelligent, controlled, well-spoken, and arrogant. He thinks he's smarter than everyone else in the room. He might speak with a British accent or upper class, standard American accent. Casting sound alike for the original actor who is no longer available. So, based off of this stuff, here we go. Everything is fine. 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 So, I'm essentially just trying to capture the essence of this character. He's British, he's got this wonderful voice, and everything is fine. So how would I take on that character if I had more to say? Yes, Captain, I have returned. Yes, Captain, I have returned. So did I. But I'm feeling much better. Hmm? <laughs> So I'm going to give them a couple takes of each because I'm trying to find this voice for them. Yes, Captain. I have returned. So did I. But I'm feeling much better. So one is very cocksure of himself. The other is more surprised. And I'll give a third. This may be a combination. Yes, Captain. I have returned. So did I. But I'm feeling much better. A little slimy, a little sneaky, a little who knows. So now I'll cut those together and send it off to him, and you never know. But that is the spectrum of voice matching uh, in one day and one session. Hope you enjoyed it all.